Uh, in this demo, we'll see why VMware Integrated OpenStack is the easiest way to deploy and manage OpenStack infrastructure on VMware. First, I want to point out this is an OpenStack demo, but clearly we're starting he here in the VMware web client. This is important because we know all our customers are very familiar with vSphere, but they might be less familiar with OpenStack. With VMware Integrated OpenStack, we can leverage that VMware expertise. Let's start with deployment. We're looking at the deployment wizard, and this wizard allows us to deploy a production-grade OpenStack cluster by simply providing some information here about our networking and other important settings. We've already done that, so I'm going to cancel this for now, and let's go look at the stack that we've deployed. Now, here it is. It's called VIO, and if we look at what's in there, we'll see that we have 15 nodes, or virtual machines, that make up our production-ready stack. And we have redundancy and HA. Now that we have this, let's go deploy something on it. And for that, we're going to switch over to the OpenStack Horizon UI. Now, as vSphere administrators, we might not do this part day to day. This might be something that our developers do. But for this demo, we're going to step through the process here anyway so we can see how it works. We're going to launch some instances. Now, an instance in OpenStack terminology is like a virtual machine. It's a combination of a bootable image and a flavor that describes the resources that we need. So we're going to give our image a name, our instance a name, and we'll call it VIO Rocks because it does. And now we're going to give an instant count of 10. So we're going to create 10 instances. So net right now, OpenStack is launching these instances. And since these instances are really just virtual machines, we can go back to our familiar web client and take a look at those virtual machines. So uh, here in our hosts and clusters, we'll see that we now have 10 new virtual machines that we've created. And if we take a look at one of those, we'll see a few interesting things. Now, first of all, we have a tight integration between OpenStack and the web client. And so here on the right, we can see important OpenStack details like the instance name, the tenant, the flavor, and other details. If we scroll down, we'll see we also have tight integration with vRealize operations. And here we can see the health, risk, and efficiency badges for our virtual machine. And that's all green, which is good. But if we want to get more detail, we can drill down further in vRealize Operations Manager. Here, we're looking at the overall health, risk, and efficiency for our environment. But we've also installed management packs for OpenStack. And so we can get more detail about specific OpenStack components. Here, we're looking at the compute, network, storage, and management services. And we can drill down on each of these as well and see more details and metrics about what's happening inside those controllers. If we go further down at the tenant level, uh, we can see some details here as well. The tenants are just an open stack abstraction for managing resources. And here in our continuous integration tenant, we can see the 10 instances that we just deployed. And if we'd like, we can drill down on each of these as well and get more detail.